cataractcoach.com how to evacuate a hyphema at the celeb microscope, but also in the operating room. Let's start with the OR here. Very dense, clotted hyphema. Look how dark it is, blocking the pupil 100%. This patient had basically no useful vision, starting off with a paracentesis here. Now, this is a resident who's operating, and we're going to do a surgical evacuation of the hyphema via two paracentesis incisions. So one pair is done. Here's another one. This is done in the operating room. And now think about this. How should we set up our machine in order to prevent any issues such as iatrogenic cataract formation? So number one is high infusion pressure. Put more fluid in the eye than you are taking out of the eye to keep the eye inflated. Now, by the way, look, it's not a bimanual IA. It's a bimanual vitrector. Because the clot there, the clot of blood is very thick and you just can't aspirate it. You need to have the vitrector. Now look at that. Because we're using a high infusion pressure and a lower aspiration flow rate, the AC stays deep. Look how deep the anterior chamber is. And there's vi virtually no risk of damaging the lens or causing a traumatic cataract. Now, you know, you got to check out cataractcoach.com, but also rentarounds.com, our sister channel. We've got so much great material. You need to check it out. Even if you're a cataract surgeon like me, it's great material that you will learn. Now, finishing up here, again, one hand is an infusion, the other hand is aspiration. And look at that. You clean up the hyphema. Now, another little pearl here is you can also put some epinephrine inside the eye, diluted epinephrine. 1 to 5,000, 1 to 10,000 is fantastic in the anterior chamber. Now, here are the settings. Look at this. IA cut, high IOP, vacuum is 350, flow rate is relatively low. So you're infusing a high amount of fluid in the eye, but aspirating out a relatively low amount. And that keeps the AC maintained. Now, here, this is the side view of that same case. And look at that. See, the AC, the anterior chamber stays nice and deep the entire time. You're not going to touch the lens capsule at all. You're not going to induce a cataract even. And you can aspirate this out very easily and very cleanly. And this patient's going to have a much better outcome in this way. Now, could the patient still develop a cataract down the road? Of course, of course. But highly unlikely because you're not going to damage the lens capsule or touch the, the lens at all in this case. And again, look, the AC is maintained nice and deep because we are smart. We follow cataractcoach.com and we know how to choose appropriate fluidic settings on our machine here. And now here's that last clot. Look at that. Aspirate, aspirate, aspirate. Pull it out of the angle. And once you've freed it up, use a little bit of the cutter there on the anterior retractor and aspirate that thing down. And now look how beautiful this is. This patient who came into the operating room with essentially no vision, complete blockage of the visual axis by that dense cataract, I'm sorry, by that dense hyphema, now has a clear visual axis. By the way, the epinephrine that we put in the eye to prevent any rebleeding has caused some pupillary medriasis. That's okay. So again, cleaning out that last bit of clot here. At the end, it's just two paras. Those should seal up beautifully without any sutures, and this patient will do fine. Now, as you take the clot out, if there's any other little bit of bleeding, just get the IOP up in the eye. Get the pressure up a little bit, and that'll help tampon on it. And again, this patient had a beautiful result. So here's an example of a traumatic hyphema, very, very, very dense hyphema, thick clot, blocked the vision, Go to the operating room, evacuate it. Now look at that. The patient's going to have normal vision the next day. So a beautiful result. Now, the other case I want to show you here is from coming up from Professor Ayala in Tampa. And this is how to do a hyphema evacuation at the Slilam microscope. Now, hyphema there, you can see the pressure's way up. Here's the technique. Watch this. So first thing is injecting an air bubble in the eye. Now, that gets the pressure even higher. But going in there at the paracentesis or the, the limbus and injecting with a small needle a lot of air inside the eye, and that air is going to be able to push out any hyphema. Now, look, you, can know, you know what's going to happen now, right? Make a paracentesis inferiorly, and that air bubble is going to act to press out or push out 
all that hyphema. Now look, look at that. The hyphema gets drained automatically right into this lamp as the bubble expands. Because remember, air is compressible, but fluids like aqueous or the hyphema are not compressible. And we get those outside of the eye, obviously done sterilely, and look at that like magic. A couple days later, looks beautiful. Fantastic result. Anyway, check out redandrounds.com, our sister channel. I promise you're going to love it.